guys. So again, this uh, ERB reaction in before uh, work and stuff like that. There was nothing for movie trailers. I mean, I pretty much did all of what Netflix threw at me that looked interesting. So uh, basically, J.J.R. Tolkien versus J.J.R. Martin, uh, two big famous uh, actors and writers and stuff like that. Uh, Tolkien made Lord of the Rings. Martin made Game of Thrones. Uh, love Lord of the Rings movies. You know, the I know the ones with uh, the, the final few pretty much got a lot of hate and crapped on, and with <laughs> with Game of Thrones is uh, it's never been a TV show I've never been interested in. You know, uh, especially since I know it's like a couple of the like the three big things that a lot of Game of Thrones diehard fans hated was <laughs> the the truck and the, the white truck in the background. The Starbucks cup on the table, <laughs> and apparently in the final like season or the ending of how they ended it off, they hated it. I don't know. Like I said, I watched a few episodes of Game of Thrones. That's about it. It just did not catch my attention. I think it's one of those TV shows you have to kind of watch a little more of, and then it starts the ball starts to roll, and then eventually starts getting good. You know, I couldn't even make uphill with that damn thing. <laughs> so let's check this out. <coughs> Yeah, who's going? Forcer! Jump! Oh, the spam caller. Tolkien! We got raise yourselves! Gather up your trolls and your soldier elves! One moment. Alright, let's try that again. What about the spam caller? George R. R. Forcer! J. R. R. Tolkien! We got raise yourselves! Gather up your trolls and your soldier elves! And your ants and your orcs and your wargs and your stings and dwarves and clam drains! That's one thing I'm kind of glad that they didn't go with Lord of the Rings was there's a lot of sex in Game of Thrones and I'm very glad they did not go with that in Lord of the Rings movies which one of the main reasons it makes them better. Common all heroes can't handle my throne. Kings, queens, dragons, dwarves, horses, fortresses, magic, and souls. You have made my whole shit. You uninspired hack. You want to war, George? Welcome to Shire Rock. Ooh. In book sales, you got nothing to say. I'm number one and two. You're under 50 shades of gray. I got the pros of a pro. Your shit's a paw. You're a pirate. You even stole my R.R. Oh. We all know the world is full of chance and anarchy. So yes, it's true to life for characters to die randomly. But newsflash, the genre's called fantasy. To be unrealistic, you myopic vanity! I conscientiously object to what you're doing on these beasts. I'll cut you like my teeth on Beauty and the Beast. You went too deep, Professor Tweed Pants. We don't need the backstory on every fucking tree branch. I cut my teeth in the trenches of the song. You locked your Santa Claus ass through Vietnam. And it's hard for me to take criticism on clothes. From a dude who sends a raven to say hi to his toes. Damn. You fat jokes are worse than your pipe smoke. My show's the hottest thing on HBO. I'm rock and roll, you're a nerdy little... Lewis and I were just discussing how you and Jon Snow both know nothing. It's a backstory on my box office is brilliant. Got my children making millions off my silver brilliance, and I'm more rock and roll than you ever been. Don't believe me? Ask Led Zeppelin. You can't reach this fellow. Shit, I'm too towering. Ooh, every time I battle, it's return of the king. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely token won that one. Like I said, I've never been, a, never been a fan of Game of Thrones, so maybe someday down the road I might watch it, but if it's just strictly on HBO, that will never happen. HBO is ridiculously expensive, and it's just, I don't have cable for one, so it was like, HBO is part of cable, so that will just never happen. Um, I know besides the, what is it, movie, or movie or TV show, that I did a little, little, um, deep delving in, deep delving in. You know, apparently it's supposed to take place before Sauron, so the, uh, spoilers if you haven't watched the trailer, the, uh, the young lady who was hanging on the cliff with the dagger, apparently that's Galadriel. And, uh, apparently there's several few act, uh, few main characters in their younger days 
that they're actually going to be showing. So I'm very hyped for that. That's going to be very good. We haven't had a good Lord of the Rings one for quite a while since, what, Battle of the Three Armies or whatever the last one was. So, uh, yeah. But either way, Token definitely won this one, you know, and, um, yeah, he's definitely right. I mean, Lord of the Rings made billions, you know, they're still making more money, probably more than Game of Thrones is. But, uh, either way, look at this trailer, or trailer, with this ERB reaction for you guys, and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna head off to work. Are you guys being safe, healthy, and sanitized? See you guys. Later.